So this video is going to show you the digitize to 3D polyline command in the sync pack. This will allow you to take line work or PDFs that have been created previously and convert them into surfaces. In this case, I have some line work that was brought in from another program, which is just dumb line work. And I want to create a surface, maybe for like a top surface to do quantities for. To run the command, I just type digitize section to 3D polyline command, and it'll pop up. Here I can choose the site and then the alignment. I mean, there's also a picker. Down here you can specify the top elevation. And so all, I'm, all I did was grab this from the 230 elevation. And then the bottom elevation is going to be found at the bottom. The offsets on the left is going to be 50 feet and the right is going to be 50 feet as well. Uh, make sure you use the negative sign um, and that way it'll be to the left of the alignment. Here I can select an existing polyline or I can digitize a section. I'm going to digitize a section. So I go ahead and click on this button. It's going to ask me for the first corner point and I'm going to select the bottom left corner. It's then going to ask me for the other point and I'm going to pick the point up here on the right hand side. So this is going to tell the program what the top elevation, the bottom elevation, and the offset on the left and the right side is. I can then pick the points I want to digitize. In this case, I'm going to digitize the top surface. As I click these points, it's creating a polyline. So if I do mess up, I can always just go back and delete my 3D polyline in plan view, and then modify my polyline, and then adjust it. That way you aren't stuck having to do it all over again. And there we go for the last one. Then once I press enter, I can see that there's a polyline here that I just digitized. If I go into the plan view, here's my 3D polyline. If I open up AutoCAD properties, I can see that as a 3D polyline. And wherever I clicked on the points, that's where it got the information from. So if I want to start out with um, a polyline. I can do that as well. And so I can come back here and maybe draw a polyline for the datum surface. So that'd just be PL. And I'm just going to draw a polyline, this time not digitizing it. And then I'm going to turn this one into a polyline. Oops. So that's going to be my polyline for my data. I'm going to keep it at uh, the same location or the same section, but this time I'm going to use the 3 plus 50, uh, which is one station beyond it, uh, just so we can see the, the line get created. So I'm going to click Select Digitize Polyline. Once again, it's going to ask me for the bottom point, so I'm going to click on that one. It's going to ask me for the other point, so I'm going to click on that one. And then it's going to ask me to select the polyline. So I'm going to select the polyline I just did. And now it should have digitized that. So if I go into plan view, um, the previous station was 3 plus 50 on the dialog box. And so this is where that digitized 3D polyline comes in. And if I go ahead and select both of these and go to object viewer, that's so fun. Uh, so we'll just go to the View tab. I have no idea where the object viewer button is. So I'll just type it. Here I can see that here's the datum surface that I did. Here's the top. And now I've digitized those from the section. I can then use these to 3D polylines to create a surface. Um, and then I could also uh, draw connecting lines there if I need something for a target for a corridor. And so that's how the digitized to 3D polyline works.